what's up it is jackintosh7 with another windows 8 tutorial and this one is going to be on how to close um applications or programs um windows is i think calling them applications now or apps um due to the metro interface um i don't really know why um it sounds i guess more mobile or something i don't know but um so there's a couple ways to do this um neither of which i really like um i in my opinion i think they're awful <laughs> um now so far i think there's two or there's like three um to close apps completely so let's go over some of them so the first one is um if you're directly inside of an app to completely close it um you have to be inside of it and you press alt and then f4 on your keyboard all right i'm just going to be going over the keyboard ways there are other ways to do it um if you have a tablet um there's more ways but um that's this is another this is one way um so yeah you just press alt and then f4 another way to do it is go start a task manager i have one running right here so to do that if you don't know how to do it it's just like in all the other windows um copies um or versions you press control all delete and then go down to task manager and it tells you all the applications you are running um you can go to more details and it gets into a more advanced layout um so yeah shows this is my uh processes what i'm using right now um so to really just get rid of it without being inside of it um t if if i wanted to get inside of it i could just double click it like i just did I'll do it again. See, now I'm inside of it. Um, inside of PC settings. This is PC settings, which is still running. You can just, instead of just being inside of it and pressing Alt um, F4, you can just hit End Task. Okay? Now I have no more running apps. Alright? So we can go and there are no more running apps. Alright? So another way, let me just run Geared, which is a game. Um, and close it so we can hit um, go to the start to get to the start menu I'm gonna be doing a whole tutorial on the start menu you just go to the left hand corner um, and we'll open something else Google Chrome will open and we'll open games and we'll open video so now we have all these things opened and um, say we don't want to start a task manager because that's annoying doing it all the time and we don't want to go into each individual program um, and close it what we're going to do is we're going to go to the start menu and we're going to take our cursor and put in the left hand corner left hand corner of our screen all right and we're going to see these faint little boxes right here okay so we're going to take our cursor, follow follow with me here, take the cursor and put it in the left-hand corner, the top left-hand corner, all right? Um, and you're going to see your desktop. Usually you'll see your desktop up top here, and then you'll see a whole bunch of other stuff down here, all right? So what you're going to want to do is just take your cursor, put it in the corner, and drag it down, okay? Now what you're going to see is all the applications that you have running. So we have our desktop running, we have PC settings running, and we have geared running, we have games and video. These are all the things that I opened. Now what we can do is we can go to right click on them and hit close to each of them and it will close them. Okay, we can close the desktop and then we can go back to the desktop and we have everything closed except for Google Chrome. Alright, this is why I'm not a big fan of this because as you can see some things still are running. Um, but if we close Google Chrome like this, we can close certain apps manually, all right? So certain apps will be able to close like this, certain programs will be able to just do this, all right? Just like, and, uh, like Google Chrome, or, uh, Internet Explorer, or, uh, this doesn't even count as a program, but they won't even be recognized up in here, okay? So if we have... So always just try to close it first. If it goes onto the desktop, more than likely you can just close it. And it'll just shut down, as you can see right here. Alright, now with this method right here, I'll go over it again. I'll run a whole bunch of stuff. Alright, um, video. Alright, so usually you'll have to, you'll do this way, right here, the uh, corner. Only if um, they're apps from 
the tiles, which all your apps show up, all your programs show up on the tiles, but like only certain ones. This is why I don't like this feature. Um, I don't like this whole idea because it's just really confusing, especially if you're new to using a computer. Um, so yeah, so I have all this thing, all this stuff opened. We'll go to start a task manager. All right, and what do we see here? I have new. Way, I mean, I have Google Chrome and Internet Explorer, which I can actually close from inside the browser. All right, so I can just do inside the desktop. I can just close them, close them, and as you can see on the task manager, things are closing. Oops, don't worry about that. Sorry, um, things are closing. So those. All right, close all two tabs. So now we have to get rid of this stuff, and we don't want to have hit end task and all that. So what we'll do is we'll go to start. We'll go to start. Put our cursor in the left hand corner, top left hand corner. Just go down. All right. This is why I don't like this at all because now nothing is showing up. Meanwhile, we have all this stuff opened. All right. So yeah. This is that's really it for this video guys. Um I'm really not a fan of how to close applications in um Windows 8. I really think they could have done a better job. If I were you, I would just run a task manager all the time. Um it's really the easiest way to do it. Um just run a task manager, just leave it sitting on your desk, control all delete. Let, just leave it sitting on your desktop, just minimize it, it's not gonna bother you. You can even pin it to your taskbar, right? So you don't have to press control delete all the time. You can just click right there. I'll show you if you want to do that again. Alright, you go to control delete to do the task manager, and then you right click, and then pin this program to a taskbar. Right? So say you don't even want to just do control delete all the time because you're just you just know that this gesture thing is not gonna work for you. That um then just pin this to your taskbar and just use the task manager all the time to close the apps um, manually. Well, I don't really... See, I really am not a fan of that, guys. I can't say this enough. Um, that's one of the things that really should have been left in the RT version of Windows 8, the mobile version of Windows 8. That should have been a feature that should have been only been in RT. Not in Windows 7. I just, I don't know, guys. It's, it's a mess. It really is. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, send me a message. I will try to answer your question. I will try to figure it out. I've had Windows 8 for, like, an hour, um, and I've already figured this much stuff out. So if you have any questions at all, just please ask me. Send in a message on YouTube, and I'll do a video about it, or I'll just tell you right away. Uh, I usually respond to my messages relatively fast. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.